Have you ever wondered what the perfect laptop really looks like? It's a tough one, right? Because there are so many to choose from, they all have funny names, and they all claim to be the best. The truth is, we're all after such different things that it's very difficult to pin down and define exactly what that would look like. So I may not be able to tell you what the perfect laptop will be, but I can certainly help you find it. Now our demonstration laptop for this guide is the new MateBook X Pro. It's now available in the UK, and Huawei are so proud of it that they sent one out and sponsored this video. The MateBook could well be the ideal every person's laptop, as it's compact, powerful, and relatively affordable. When looking at laptops, you'll typically find three screen sizes, 13, 15, and 17 inches. The larger sized body will give you more display to use, but it also dictates exactly how much stuff can be crammed inside. This typically means that laptops can get more powerful and house a larger quantity of ports as the screen size increases. But it's great to see some more hybrid approaches from notebooks like the MateBook X Pro that blur the lines by reducing the body size but still maintain a larger size screen and discrete graphics card. If you're going to be traveling with your laptop a lot, then obviously a smaller size is a much better bet. But if you're going to be at home, you may be going to be connected to the mains all the time, then you could look at something that is larger, is more powerful, and will be able to do more intense applications. Regardless of form factor though, the screen is so vital to the experience, and you really need to make sure you know exactly what it is you're buying. Where possible, you should be looking at an IPS panel, as this will give you richer colours, better accuracy, and fantastic viewing angles. But don't discount resolution, as this is also a key factor, as the higher the resolution, the more pixels will be displayed on screen at the same time for a more sharp and detailed image. 1080p Full HD is perfectly fine for smaller laptops, but you'll often see 4K panels that will take image quality to the next level. This will reduce battery life though, so you could argue that the 3000 by 2000 resolution of the MateBook X Pro really hits the sweet spot. Another feature that's popular on Windows laptops is touch, and this is useful for general browsing, as well as the more creative applications. But in my honest opinion, it's not something I find completely necessary for a laptop. Even on a convertible, it's something I would rarely use. But we are all different, so if you're someone that's after a touchscreen, then obviously this is something you should be looking for. You're also going to need to make sure that the computer is powerful enough to tackle the workloads that you're actually going to be throwing at it. I've spoken about this before in great lengths, because it's really important to know exactly what you will be using the laptop for, then buying something that has been designed for those tasks. The MateBook X Pro is a perfect example of the more jack-of-all-trades computer, as it's slim, light, and portable, yet it's powerful enough to take on all but the most demanding applications. The things to look at are the processor, RAM, and graphics card. The processor, or CPU, acts as the brain of your computer, and it essentially dictates just how powerful your machine will be. A modern day notebook will have at least two cores, but we're now starting to see up to six on the most powerful laptops. The quad core i7 CPU, as found in the MateBook X Pro, is ideal for all general tasks and is ace at photo editing and even some more lighter video loads. As for RAM, it's not just the name of a Daft Punk album, terrible joke, terrible joke, but it actually dictates exactly how many applications you can have running at the same time. Things like those Chrome tabs, they all start to add up. Generally speaking, for most people, eight gigabytes is absolutely fine, but if you are running the more creative applications and you are doing photo editing, video editing, then you should probably step it up to at least 16. Turning to the graphics chips, these are used in creative applications and of course for video games. Big and beefier GPUs will require a lot of power though, and they dramatically increase the size of the laptop to the point where it's not really that much of a laptop anymore. But for most people, something like the NVIDIA MX150 sits in the realm of ideal balance, as it hasn't increased the size of the MateBook, yet it still accelerates supported apps and is fine for lighter gaming loads at lower resolutions in games like Civilization VI. Battery life is another key feature of laptops, because if you're going to be using it all day, it needs to last all day. The MateBook X Pro is rated for up to 12 hours of use, and in my experience it's always comfortably lasted me throughout my work day without any real issues at all. It's probably helped out with a larger size battery pack, but when you're looking at laptops you should bear in mind that screen size, brightness, and of course component choice 
all have an impact on the overall picture. Drawing this video to a close, I want to point you towards a few things that are quite easy to overlook. Storage for one is a big deal, as while an SSD is a must, higher-end computers are now using PCIe SSDs for even faster boot times and smaller bodies. But they're often very pricey upgrades, so it's very important to make sure you're buying the right amount of storage, and if you need a more powerful computer, you might have to compromise here. Then there's the trackpad, keyboard and speakers. Probably the easiest things to skimp on, but do so at your peril. Gaming laptops in particular are notorious for having atrocious trackpads, so always test them out if you can first to make sure you're not disappointed. You're looking for something that's specifically precision certified, as these work best with Windows and offer the most natural navigation experience. If you're a frequent video caller, then a webcam is a key component for you, and they vary in quality, with the MateBook X Pro cleverly hiding it in the keyboard. The main advantage to this is that it's tucked neatly out of the way, and it frees up that screen so you get that nice bezel-free experience. The main downside, which is I suppose a literal pun, is that the angle actually is quite up in your face, so if you are doing a lot of serious video calls, then maybe you'd want to look at getting a dedicated webcam or something with the placement that is up in the usual spot. If you are interested in current pricing, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate links down in that description below, but I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on the MateBook X Pro, but also whether you find a touchscreen a really useful feature on a laptop or not. But if you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button as it really helps me out and lets others know it's a video worth watching. Do get subscribed as well for more videos just like this, and a massive thank you once again to Huawei for sponsoring this video and making it all possible. But yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next one.